Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, a craft doctor. And I'm here today with the video that I promised you from yesterday. And it's the Heartfelt Creations. Um, and it's the Decorative Dragonfly Collection. So this is going to be a very quick video because I already did the cut, uh, cut out the papers and stuff. And I wanted to show you um, that you can just take your paper pads, to take your dies, cut out the images, and make a card in short order. And so I'm back in my office, and that's why this is really close up. And I'm hoping that it's not so close that it is just in your so in your face because if it is i need to get a better lens <laughs> for this camera okay so this is just a regular card base five by seven i cut it out um, out of a uh, 110 pound weight paper from my um michael's so it's just a basic card base you know uh, 10 by seven scored at five and a half so that's this this is just some random blue 65 pound weight paper that I got from um, in one of those multi packs. That's what this is. And then what I did was I cut out one of the designer papers here. This is one of the designer, uh, I mean designer paper, the paper from the paper pad is what I'm saying. This is a paper from the paper pad and I just chose where I wanted to have my five by seven piece and cut this out. So this was cut out at, uh, the card base is five by seven. The blue piece is um, four and seven, no, four and three fourths by five and three fourths. And this piece was cut out at um, four and a half by uh, six and a half. And so I did a little small matte layer for each one. Then what I did was I took the butterflies from the paper pad and I cut out three different ones. I'm not using this one on this go around because my card is already got a uh, dragonfly in it, but I'm using this one. And what I did to give this a little bit more dimension is I took the die and I cut it out two more times and I glued this piece together because I want to glue these together to give this a little bit more dimension because you see this paper is very thin. It's very, very thin. And so I wanted to give it a little bit more dimension on my card base. So I decided to cut it out on in two layers, extra layers in my um, on, uh, to put on my card base. So, and I'm also using this crafters closet. This is the new glue that you can get from the dollar and 25 cent store. And I just really wanted to see if it really is going to work. Um, and if it's going to be too dry, um, not dry, I'm sorry, wet. If it's going to be too wet, and if it is going to be too wet or if it's going to warp or something or if it's going to help make your card stronger because you know wet glue also helps to make your card a little bit stronger um, and I have noticed that um, it, that when you use glue as opposed to tape your card is a lot of times um, a little bit more rigid have y'all noticed that? If y'all noticed that, let me know in the, in the uh, comments if y'all noticed that when you use wet glue that your cards are a little bit more rigid than when you use um, tape runners. Okay, so I have noticed this thin paper, I can feel that glue under there. I can feel it right where I put it. So be mindful of that thinner paper. This is a little bit more thicker paper. So I think that I might be able to get away with it a little bit better. Um, I'm putting it on the edges and the points because they have a tendency to uh, stand up. And then I'm putting some in here. I'm not, if you could tell, I'm not using a lot of glue though. 
um, because I want to see if this is going to still stay down not using a lot of glue because the more glue you use it the wetter your paper will get and the more warping it will be because the major ingredient in this glue is water and so yeah I can feel that this has a lot of water content in it um yeah it has a lot of water in it it's a lot it's thick but it's probably thick because I've had it for a minute but it's it's got a lot of water content in it okay and i'm making this card in the office and these will be my little uh five ten minute card making sessions that i'm using in the office because you know how you find out at the last minute somebody has a birthday or somebody um um is retiring or they you need a sympathy card so all I'm gluing down is just this piece and so or you just need a freaking break sometimes sometimes we just need a break and your break can be pre-make some card kits that you can put in a container you know the white containers that I use clear containers that they're just photo boxes that I got from Michaels put you a few of them in those and um, use those and take them and have like a portable a portable um craft bag that has uh if you're a card maker it might have a small paper cutter it'll have a small um die cutting machine um it'll have a small set of scissors It'll have a, a little bit, a bottle of glue, like go to the dollar store and get you a, a glue bottle that you can refill and, and a pokey tool, like a multi, multi purpose pokey tool, that type of thing. Okay. So the reason why I did that is I want these to lift up on my card because I want them to be dimensional. So that's why. I only glued it down in the center of this one and in the other one. And so this one is going to go pointing this way. And this one is going to be as if it's coming out of this like that. And then we have this one in the middle. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to put this down right here. I'm going to put this one right here and I would have some um, uh, like glossy accents to put on here or some Winkostella. Uh, I might have a Winkostella pen with me. Let me see. But I'm just gluing this down. Um, one thing I noticed, I'm using um, a tabletop stand and it's very close. So what I may have to do is buy a lens for this camera that backs up. So this lens only goes to, I don't know what it goes to, but I might have to buy a lens for it that will give me a wider shot. So I'm not right there, but this might even be better because and I'm up, right up, up there. Mm -mm. I was listening to Nick Nolte, Nick, Nick, Nick somebody I don't know um, and he just came on okay so it looks like he's coming up from the flowers and that is our card that is how quickly you can make a card and then do them without a sentiment right do them without a sentiment and put a sentiment across here or across here or don't even put a sentiment in there and put a sentiment on the inside get um on and this is the quickest way to put a sentiment on the inside of your cards is go to your computer and type out um happy birthday such and such and such and such and so print it out on your printer on some printer paper and tape it on the inside and now you have a customized card for whoever you're doing the card for all right that was my quick in the office 10 minutes doing a card. Thank you so much for joining me and look for my next video. I'll show you the cards I made from Stamplistic at the Spring Bling. Thank you so much. Have a good one.